George Simon Ohm was investigating current, and he discovered that the greater the potential difference in the battery, the greater the current. The more EMF, the more current there was. Current is directly proportional to the voltage. You can compare this to water flowing in a pipe. Suppose I had a pipe like this and I tilted it a little bit. Well, the water would flow slowly. But if I tilted it like this, I have a great potential difference, a uh, potential energy difference, and the water will flow much faster. And that's similar to what happens in a wire. If I have a little potential difference, I'll get the current flowing. If I have a lot of potential difference, the current will flow much faster. Ohm also found that the current is inversely proportional to the resistance. Let's compare it to people running a marathon. Thousands of people about to run a marathon. They're like the charge in a wire. Suppose there aren't any cars in the road. They are free to run, nothing to hit. There's not a lot of resistance, and there's lots of runners running by per second. At a checkpoint, somebody could count how many runners ran by in a second. Well, let's suppose they decided to run the marathon during rush hour traffic. Now the runners would bump into cars. They couldn't go in a straight path. There's obstacles everywhere. It would slow them right down. There's lots of resistance. So the flow of runners is a lot less. Somebody at a checkpoint would count less runners per second in rush hour than if there's an empty road. And this is what it's like for electrons moving through a wire. The more dense the wire, the more atoms there are for them to hit, and the slower the current. The greater the resistance, the slower the current. If it is a less dense wire, less atoms to hit, <laughs> the greater the current because the resistance is less. And so we write Ohm's law, V equals I times R.